personally, this is this is a very important moment. Um, we, we, this this study has been underway for for the best part of, of five years. EN2 is a is a protein, um, and what's very exciting about it is that it's only present in prostate tumours, but it's not present in normal uh, prostate tissue. And it has a number of fairly unusual properties, but one of these is it's actually released from cells into the outside world. So it can actually get outside tumours and end up um, in the sort of fluid around the prostate and eventually in the, in the urine. This um, EN2 discovery is, represents, we believe, the biggest advance in prostate cancer diagnostic technology for 25 years. One of the key things is to encourage GPs to test more readily because the PSA test is unreliable as we know. A study in New York claimed last week that thousands of men are undergoing unnecessary biopsies uh, because of raising PSA and when, when they really are unnecessary and we desperately need a new study and more research to find a better a better way of diagnosing prostate cancer and today we've got it. Your prostate is involved in the peeing process and uh, as you get older it ceases to be needed and starts to get a bit gnarled and messed up, a bit like me really, and, uh, and what happens then is it can get cancerous. But it doesn't always get cancerous. Doctors have been asking for an improvement to the PSA test. It's a blood test and the problem with it is it produces prostate specific antigens when you haven't got prostate cancer so it's not specific so in reality what it tells you is you've just got something going on in your prostate in our study we've shown that en2 is present in 66 percent of men with prostate cancer essentially um, 66 percent of men is roughly twice the number that PSA would, would pick up at the moment. One thing about the Prostate Project is we're an entirely volunteer organisation. This has only been possible, we've got this far, through the generosity of some, a lot of very uh, serious and uh, wealthy people who have been very helpful to us and also hundreds of people who have given us small amounts of money. This has got to continue if we're going to get over the line with this EN2 test. This urine test needs more money. And I'm sorry to say, we haven't got it yet. Our costs are less than 2% of all the money that's donated to us, which means that 98 pence in every pound that you give us, or anybody gives us, goes directly to the point of need. I do encourage everybody to have a look at our website. The, uh, the address is www.prostate-project.org.uk.